So when starting a business, first thing is first, right? You need to get a good business idea and then figure out, you know, the brain brainstorm it to see if it's actually actually good. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. So first of all, don't ask idea for ideas for others, right? Because a lot of people come to me and ask me for ideas and then I'm like, what am I, like a business idea factory? And even if I gave people business ideas, like how do I know that this idea is right for you, right? How do I know what your background is, your interests are, your skills are, your education is, your, you know, proclivity to certain things opposed to others, only you know those things. So I would suggest to first look inside yourself about, you know, to think about what your education is in, your interest is in, what you want to get into, what you're passionate about, what you feel like you're actually going to work on for, you know, an extended amount of time with sufficient motivation, right? So do that, right? And, it's, and the, reverse of the, the reverse of that, of course, is don't get into a business where you're weak, where you have no experience, no knowledge, no interest, right? Because just because somebody says, hey, fashion is a fantastic industry, billions of dollars, and you're like, oh yeah, billions of dollars, I gotta get into that. I don't know, I don't know anything about it, but I gotta get into that, right? That would, that would, that would not be the best thing to do. So uh, once you have an idea of a space which you wanna get into, here's the traditional ways that people tend to align their mental approach to come, be able to come up with ideas, right? Always look for problems and inefficiencies everywhere, right? Um, that that's if you if you can improve on it, make something better, um, more efficient, then people will be like, "Wow, that solution is obviously better. I should get that, right?" And then they will get your product, which makes it better. So think about always: Can you teach someone something? Can you make people money? Can you save people money? Um, can you entertain someone? What benefit can you give to someone? And if that benefit is big enough, they will start to pay you for it, right? So once you have an idea, we all think our ideas are amazing, blah, blah, blah. But usually when, they're first, when we first get them, we think they're amazing, but typically they're not. And the way that we can make them better is to start brainstorming them. You can do it by yourself. You can do it with a friend. Um, and the, the brainstorming is really the very first phase of business planning. Not saying you should have a formal business plan, but just start mentally sort of planning things out. For example, like how are you going to promote your business? How are you going to market your business? Um, it, how much risk is there? Like do you have to put a lot of money in it, right? Um, or is there a risk with time? Like is it going to be very time consuming? Definitely challenge your idea from every angle and figure out a strategy that will make your idea stronger and will account for all the challenges and still hold up, right? And if you have this with a, if you can do this with a friend, it's even better where they can play devil's advocate and they say, hey, what are you going to do in this case? Is that a problem, right? And so over, you know, over the brainstorm, that's where you really solidify your idea and make it much, much, much stronger.